Hi, uh, yeah. I've come down to the park to share um, another thought that's just occurred to me, so a conversation I've had. Um, it's a bit more about my uh, about me, my life history, if you like. Um, and I'm on the autistic spectrum. So that means was for me anyway that if I'm in a hall and these are all these circles, hopefully you're used to my dodgy drawings now. Well, these circles represent individuals, you know, peer groups, family, friends, teachers, um, you know, business partners, work colleagues. You know. And the thing is, is all of those people think differently to me. Because I'm on the autistic spectrum and they're not. Okay? So they all think differently to me. That means in order for me to be accepted, if I want to be accepted, and at the time when I was younger, if you like, um, I was, unbeknownst to me, subconsciously, the thought I'd been had in my head was that my self-esteem was based on being accepted by others. Yeah? So my sense of self, who I am, my confidence, everything is to do with being accepted by others. But, because I think differently, because of the autistic spectrum, to everybody else, I was faced with a choice. I either have to find a way of pretending to think like them so that they can accept me. So pretending to think like them. Or I stay true to myself. In which case, I'm going to be rejected because I think differently. I also found out that my friends and colleagues, no matter how hard they tried, they couldn't really understand how I thought. It was just... So that meant they, no matter how hard they tried, they just couldn't find a way of accepting me. And no matter how hard I tried, it felt wrong to try to pretend to be like them. Okay? So that meant I spent a good section of my early life feeling rejected. Luckily, my sport kept my self-esteem brewing. I've got to go be here. <laughs> okay? And then, then eventually I discovered, through my wife and my children teaching me, basically, that actually what I had, an alternative, option two, is to accept myself. Okay, so my self-esteem now, instead of coming from being accepted by others, now comes from me accepting myself for who I am. I know how I think, and therefore I can accept myself. I have to work at it, but I can always accept myself. Okay, and then as a result, I can still be with these people who think differently to me, but because I'm accepting myself, I'm much more at peace, I have a lot more fun, and I laugh a lot. Okay? But let's, I have to say, don't underestimate how hard it is to be in an environment where you think one way, everybody around you thinks differently, and your job is to get accepted by them. That's a tough place to be. But, due to, but I, f I found a way which is the accept myself stuff. Okay? Which is hence why I'm sharing it. Okay? And then it become peace, fun, and laugh a lot. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks a lot.